Hey, can you solve this nice Olympiad mass question? We are asked to solve for x equal to the power of x equal to 30. Now, I can go about solving it by looking at first looking at 4 to the power of x, finding out the common base so that I can simply simplify this or cancel out the common base and then x will give me my value. But I can't have a common base of 4. Neither can I have a common base of 2 for the figure 30. So what do I do? That means 30 cannot be, uh, we can look for the common base of 30 to find this expression. So I think the best way to solve this question is through the use of logarithm. So what I'm going to do is to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides. And this is going to give me the log of 4 to the power of x equal to the log of 30. Now, if I have the log of 30, the log of 30 can be simplified to give me equal to the log of 6 multiplied by 5, right? 6 multiplied by 5. And that will give me that log and this is going to give me x log of what log of 4 right from here I can simply find the value of x by dividing both sides by 4 right I divide here by the log of 4 definitely on the left hand side log of 4 will have to cancel out the log of 4 and then I'll have my x to be equal to the log of 6 multiplied by 5. And all of these should be divided by the log of 4. Great. Now, at this point, I can simplify this to a much uh, lesser term. Now, recall that from an expression, from the multiplication of log, if I have the log of a multiplying b, this can simply give me the log of a plus the log of b, right? So if I have that expression, that means I can simplify that expression to now give me my x to be equal to the log of 6 plus the log of 5 and all these can be divided by the log of 4 and this seems not to be the answer to that expression because I can simply reduce this further now if I reduce this further this is going to give me the log of x to be equal to I can break this to give me the log of 3 multiplied by 2, right? And simply makes this to be equal to the log of 4 divided by the log of 4 plus log of 5 divided by the log of 4. Great. Now at this point, I can simplify by expanding this and if I expand that I'll have my x equal to the log of 3 or simply put the log of 2 divided by the log of 4 4 right plus log of 3 divided by the log of 4 plus the log of 5 divided by the log of 4. Now that value, that expression can still be reduced to the value of x equal to log of 2 divided by 2 log of 2, right? 
because log of 4 can give us to log of 2 to the power of 2 and according to the law of logarithm this will come to multiply the log of 2 so that is simplified to log of 3 divided by 2 log of 2 and this will give us plus log of 5 divided by 2 log of 2 great now from that expression this whole expression will now give me the x value to be equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the log of 2 divided by log of 2 right plus 1 divided by 2 multiplying the log of 3 divided by the log of 3 log of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 multiplying the log of 5 divided by the log of 2 so what would this expression give me this expression will give me the value of my x to be equal to I have a common term and this will give me 1 divided by 2 or multiplying the log of 2 divided by the log of 2 plus log of 3 divided by log of 2 plus log of 5 divided by log of 2 so from this expression 2 we cancel out log of 2 log of 2 we cancel out log of 2 and so that expression is going to give me x equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplying 1 plus log of 3 divided by the log of 2 plus log of 5 divided by log of 2 and this will give me this expression and if I reduce that Recall one good law of logarithm that if I have the log of A dividing the log of B, this can simply be equal to the log of A base what? Base B, change of base. And this is going to give me the value of, from that expression, the value of my S to be equal to 1 plus the log of 3 base 2 right if you watch out that expression and this will give me plus log of 5 base 2 and all of these will be divided by 2 which is what which is the half and this is the solution to that expression given to us up there. So you see, very easy. Now at this point, you're going to see that the value of 4 to the power of x equal to 30, the value of our x is equal to 1 plus the log of 3 base 2 plus log of 5 base 2 divided by 2. This is the solution. Now for us to check if our solution is correct, remember we are giving 4 to the power of x equal to 30. So I have most of my students who want to say, let's check if the solution is right. So we are going to insert the value of x into this expression. And if we do that, we'll have that expression to now give us 4 to the power of 1 plus the log of 
3 base 2 plus log of 5 base 2 divided by 2. Now, will that expression be equal to 30? Let's find out. From this expression, I can have this to become my 2 to the power of 2, which will now multiply everything here. 1 plus the log of 3 base 2 plus log of 5 base 2 all divided by 2 now with this expression we equal to 30 from here you can see that 2 will cancel out 2 and so I'll have that expression to now be equal to 2 to the power of 1 plus log of 3 base 2 plus log of 5 base 2 now will this be equal to 30 from this expression you can see that we can apply the laws of indices from that law of indices if i have a to the power of x plus y plus z this can simply give me a to the power of x multiplying a to the power of y multiplying a to the power of z right so if i apply it here i'm going to have this to become 2 to the power of 1 multiplying 2 to the power of log of 3 base 2 multiplying 2 to the power of log of 5 base what base 2 and this will be equal to 30. now will this give me 30 and let's find out recall one law of logarithm if i have a to the power of the log of x is a that this can simply be equal to x why because a will have to cancel out a and my value will be x so if i apply it here and apply it here i'll have that expression to give me 2 to the power of 1 multiplying 2 cancel out 2 i'll be left with what 3 multiplying 2 cancel out 2 i'll be left with 5. now the multiplication of this really give me 30. And if i do that i'm going to have this to become 6 multiplying 5 with this the equal to 30. so you can see that 30 is equal to 30 and that tells me that this expression which is uh, x equal to this is a solution to that mass expression given to us up there i know you did enjoy watching this mass solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.